Welcome to Contagion's K-Suite tutorial series. Today we'll be giving you a quick overview of how to use K-Suite's Cohort Explorer tool. Cohort Explorer lets you analyze what your top groups of users do within your application, as well as understand their trends and behaviors. You can access it through the Intelligence tab of the K-Suite dashboard. In this tutorial, we're actually going to run you through a use case to show you exactly how this tool is used and the type of insights it can give you about your users. So, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create the cohort we want to explore. You can do this using the Create Cohort toolbar above. Let's start by selecting our cohort event. This can either be based on when the user first installed or when they first monetized. Install date is interesting for us, so we'll choose that. Next, pick the date and range. It looks like there was a lot of activity in the month of January, so we've selected the month of January. Next, select how to rank these users. Is it based upon their spend patterns, their engagement, the number of transactions they had, or the number of sessions? For us, top spenders are important, so we'll apply the top 10 spending groups. And now, within the first 10 days means I want to track spend for these users within the first 10 days of their install. Of course, this value can be changed to anything based on our needs, but I feel like that the first 10 days are the most important for my app, so I'll limit it to that. Once we run it, Cohort Explorer will pull out the top 10 spending groups based on the criteria I've selected into the table below. So, now we have a list of our top 10 spending groups that installed in January, along with a specific ad network and campaign that brought them in, as well as how much was spent, the number of transactions, sessions, and time in app. While this is good information, Cohort Explorer actually takes it a step further by letting you visually plot and compare these groups against each other. This makes it much easier to identify differences in user behavior and trends. So for us, we're going to add the first three groups in, Ad Network 13, Ad Network 15, and a Facebook acquisition. Cohort Explorer will automatically color code each group for you. At the bottom, we have a graph for spending, as well as ones for engagement, including time on site, sessions, and number of transactions for each one of these cohorts. Let's check out our total spending chart. Right away, we see that users acquired through Ad Network 13, this light blue line, spend the most out of the three cohorts that we selected. We can break this down further from a non-cumulative standpoint. This gives us a much better idea of how spending evolves day over day. Now, what we see for that same light blue group is that most of the spending tends to be on the day of install, which is day zero, and one day afterwards. However, after that, spending drops off precipitously. Now, compare that with the orange group from Facebook, and we see that it's a bit more of a cyclical pattern, which means they spend a bit on day two, drop off, and then continue to spend on day six. This information could be very useful because it seems to indicate re-engagement, something on the sixth day happened that caused a spike in spending. And now that I've discovered this anomaly, I can investigate it further to see what was being purchased on that day and why. And that's a quick overview of how to use K-Suite's Cohort Explorer tool to analyze the behavior of your top groups of users. But this is just a small sample of what you can do with the K-Suite Analytics platform. To learn more, please contact us at ksuiteinfo at contagion.com or visit our website at www.contagion.com. Thanks for watching.